Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making winter melon meatball soup. This recipe is easy to make with just a few simple ingredients. Perfect for today's busy family on the go. Let's prepare the meatball ingredients first. One pound of ground pork. Three medium shiitake mushrooms soaked overnight and diced. If you can find fresh water chestnuts, go for that. But they're hard to find, so I bought an 8 ounce can. Drained and diced. Instead of dicing each water chestnut, you can put one under a knife and gently flatten it this way. Do it one at a time. Two green onions, cleaned and diced. 4 tablespoons of soy sauce 2 tablespoons of sesame oil 2 tablespoons of white pepper powder 4 heaping teaspoons of cornstarch mixed with half a cup of water to form a flurry Put all the meatball ingredients into a Ziploc bag and zip it up, then give it a good thorough mix It should come together like this, then set aside. Here are the ingredients for the rest of the soup. One pound of winter melon, washed, seeded, skinned, and cut into one inch cubes. I found these beautiful beach mushrooms in the market today. Couldn't resist, so I'm adding them to the soup, but it's totally optional. After you remove them from the package, you'll see dirt on the stems. Then generously cut the bottom off to remove all the dirt. Then I wash them in a tub of water. A lot of people don't recommend washing mushrooms in water, but I'm old school. I don't know where the mushrooms been. I feel way better giving them a good washing before serving them to my family. Then I drain them in a colander. Here I reserve the liquid from soaking the mushroom to use in the broth. This will give the soup extra flavor. I combine the liquid from the mushroom and enough water to make six cups of liquid in the pot. Make sure the pot is only halfway full at this point to leave enough room for the other ingredients later. Put the pot on high heat till it comes to a boil. Then turn the heat down to medium high before putting the meatballs in. Putting meatballs into rapidly boiling liquid will cause the meatballs to fall apart. I have a handy dandy melon baller to help me scoop the meatballs in. But if you don't have one, a spoon will do the job just the same. I think about a dozen meatballs for us tonight is more than enough. Then cover the pot and let it go on slow rolling boil for 10 minutes. This will allow the meatball flavor to come out into the broth. After 10 minutes, it's looking good. Keep the lid off and continue boiling this way to reduce liquid in the pot. Therefore, flavor of the broth becomes more concentrated for a more flavorful soup. The liquid has been reducing this way the last 10 minutes. It's time to put in the winter melon and the mushrooms. Carefully put the melon in a little at a time so water doesn't splash up on you. Then put the mushrooms in. Stir and cover till the melon and mushrooms are cooked in about 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. I can see a little bit of fat on the broth from the ground pork. It's not much, but I'm still going to skim it for a healthier soup. Decades ago, when I left home for college, mom gave me this nifty fat skimmer. I just scoop up a ladle of broth with fat, then pour out the broth and the fat gets trapped behind this divider. It works pretty well. 
I've only seen these gadgets sold at some Asian supermarkets in their kitchen utensil aisle. If you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. A ladle will do just fine. You can season the broth to taste now. You should always taste it first before adding seasoning. Mine, I think it needs about a teaspoon and a half of salt. And since I like things a little spicy, I will add another half a teaspoon of white pepper. Taste it again to be sure. And I think mine needs a little more umami flavor. So I added a dash of soy sauce. When the winter melon is translucent like this, it's cooked through. The soup is done. Our busy lives don't always allow us to spend hours cooking a pot of soup. This recipe makes a delicious soup that's fast to make with simple ingredients that are readily available. I hope this recipe helps you serve up a bowl of quick, healthy, comforting soup tonight. You can find the recipe under description. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.